Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Singapore English Newspaper. I am Mr. Go, and today we're going to talk about English newspaper as in Singapore. But that's just a heading. Actually, the main topic is about newspaper report. Okay, are you ready? And uh, let's start. So let's take a look at a few examples. The first one, you see that there are actually a number of newspaper in Singapore. The first one, the most famous, is Straits Time, and it started since the eighteen hundreds. Second, the New Paper. Well, it can be one of the gossip news. Uh, so you can see the headline is very grim: slash and grab. Third one, Business Time. As you can see, the title is self-evident. It's about business. Fourth, Today. Today is a free newspaper. That you can actually get while on the train or on the way to a train station, they give out this newspaper. When basically you can find all kinds of English news here. So you realize that these four types of newspaper are the main English newspaper you can find in Singapore. Now the next question is why do we read newspaper? I mean, look at a person is so happy reading newspaper. Read it for a number of reasons. So let's find out. So we learn about the current events and new information. If there is a riot, you will be the first to know. Okay, even though it's maybe a bit late. Well, together with the social media and all. Second one, you can publish comments. So you can actually write into a newspaper and publish your comments. In the straight style, you'll be under the foreign section. Provide opportunity to express opinion on issues is for the journalists as well as for the audience uh, like you who read the newspaper. And last but not least, you provide entertainment. There's entertainment news, and possibly provide your entertainment to read about the stars and uh, different pop icons. Next one, sections in the street time. You have the prime, prime in the main news, Asia, which is in Asia, world, around the world. You have Singapore today is only focused on Singapore. We have home, which is focused on basically Singapore and foreign where people. Send their comments, their letters, and their essays in for it for the journalists to be pu publish them. So the editor will choose them, then you'll publish certain well letters from the public. There are sports obituaries where people publish uh, those who have passed away. You have money, which is talk about monetary issues, your business news, uh, money essentially. Yes. So the main thing here, headline. It's something we talk about, and usually it's a heading at the top of an article or page in newspaper or magazine, which is grab your attention. So here are a few titles: you have "Man Drowned in Quarry," you have "Chicken Flu Hits HK Again," which stands for Hong Kong. You have "COE COE Prices Drop Their All Time Low." For those of you who are not familiar, COE stands for Certificate of. Entitlement is for anyone who wish to own a vehicle, such as a van, a car, or motorcycle. You need to get a certificate in Singapore. And farming goes high tech. You can see this spring, and while it's digging the land at the same time. So news headlines. There are a number of news headlines, and we can take a look, such as the memory lingers on. Second one, father and son team in perfect harmony. There's sound of silence. And better late than never. Some of the titles are actually quite misleading, and usually what they do is that if it's misleading, you catch your attention, and once you catch your attention, you start to read on to find out which meaning does it actually means. If it's ambiguous, news headlines basically refers to there are more than one meaning, so you would like to find out which is the correct one. Let's go on. So this is linked to our next part, which is talking about factual recount. Which is talking about writing news, news reports basically. Types of news report. Let's take a look. You have the hard news, which basically of inner reports of recent events, such as the rock. I'm just kidding. It's not about the rock. So next one of a soft news. You know the rock, which is hard, and the soft, which are the eggs. So you have the soft news. News we provide readers with information which are of general interest, such as your entertainment news. So we'll take a look at a few examples of each type of news. So let's take a look at the hard news. First one, you have road accidents. These are recent news. You can see belongs to the hard news. Next one, criminal acts, robbery, kidnapping, wild rape. Yeah, that belongs to criminal acts. Next one, natural disasters, tsunamis, earthquakes. 
uh, tornadoes, saw these belong to natural disaster, and national events, National Day, and so on. So, announcement on public policy. So, if the president or the prime minister decide to make an announcement, and this will be the area where they publish the news, they will consider hard news. And if you look in the picture, that will be our current president, Mr. Tony Tan. Next, sports events, soccer, World Cup, this will fall under hard news. Soft news, on the contrary, you have four types of soft news. First one, new inventions. If the latest iPhone come out, it will be considered as a new invention. Next one, you have trends in society and lifestyle choice. So let's say more people like to use kick scooter or scooter to travel around. This will be considered uh, trends in lifestyle choices. Next one, celebrity profiles. You see news from them. This Lady Gaga decided to put on a meat dress. That will be considered the celebrity profile. So next one, and travel destination. Sometimes you'll see people publishing places such as Maldives. And that will fall under the soft news. Next one. So we come to exercise one. This one you'll find in your cosmology exercise or in the exercise that will be attached. So I'll be showing you the questions and I, but I will not be going through the answers. First one, for the headings A to G, decide if they are hard or soft news. Hard or soft news. So next one. So, victorious lions return home to roaring welcome. And lions in this case, it doesn't refer to animal, refers to Singapore football clubs. Okay, next. This amble kittens found outside Chongpang flat. This angel beast means that the person or the animal has been torn to pieces. 7.7 7 earthquakes hits off Alaska, that's in America, triggers local tsunami. Number D, top 10 little known dream islands. E, workers die from the fall at Senkang site. F, thousands flee wildfires in southern Australia. G, Thinner, lighter, iPad launching in March 2013? It's a question mark, so it hasn't been confirmed. But as you can see now, this is published in the past. So where is how soft news? Please use the definition. You can rewind back, take a look, and use it to answer your questions. Next one, purpose. The purpose of hard news and soft news is another way you can differentiate between hard and soft news. Hard news is to inform and is factual and is objective, such as this person. Very factual, is forming in such a tone. And there's a very cute next. So soft news. So soft news is to entertain you. It need not be factual, can be fake. And it's subjective. Scary, entertaining. There you go. So I'll focus here. Hard news. So when we look at hard news, we are actually Focusing on a structure of news report which you may need to write. So over here, it can be divided into five sections. The first section is the headline, followed by the byline, followed by introduction, followed by the body, followed by conclusion. The headline, as I explained, is a heading at the top, followed by a byline. Byline basically is a short line which is just below the headline. Which after your introduction, basically the key information is found here, which is also called lead. In your body where you find all the juicy details or not so juicy details and finally you have the conclusion where you wrap up what's the next progress or maybe you can do read on read page seven okay next exercise two so in this case you won't get to see exercise what was going to happen here is i'm going to go through the answer and i explain a few of the answers arrange this news report according to this structure you have first by heading for my byline introduction, body, then conclusion. So let's go through the answers. Hopefully you have done the exercise. If not, um, well, you look through and see how you can understand this. First, robbery suspect net after chase by Jalela Baker. So we start off, taxi driver Tan Chai Cheng, 52, had picked up three passengers up at 7.40 a.m. yesterday and was about to drop them off at West Coast Park when he was held at knife point. Someone take a knife and place it near his throat. Wow, the heading or the headlines is very obvious. Big words. There you go. Second one, byline. 
that's the author. Third one, you have the introduction, which basically sums up the entire news report. Okay, let's go on. Juicy detail time. Body. He was forced to hand over about $250, his cell phone, and also the key to his taxi. And although stranded, the quick thinking cabby stopped a car on West Coast Highway. The driver, 60 year old man, then called the police before agreeing to drive around to look for the suspect. So over here, he was uh, the juicy details are here the details are $250, the 60 year old man, West Coast Highway. All the details are here, and this will be considered the body. And usually, it's quite long. So this will be move on to the second part. This spotted means later and Mr. Tan chase. Student Michael Teofan is 19 who had heard Mr. Tan cries for help instinctively join him. And when the three suspects tried to escape by taking a bus, Mr. Tan stopped it by standing in front of it. He then did the same when they tried to board a taxi. Even threats by one of the suspects welding the knife failed to deter the pair. The police arrived shortly and caught a man and a woman. The third suspect was arrested at his house about 8 hours later. The three suspects are aged between 18 and 22. You can see they are quite young. In yesterday evening at the Clemente Police Division headquarters, Mr. Teofani was given a plug and commended for his actions. And my apologies for the spelling for commander is that spelling error, but the correct spelling is C-O-M-M-E-N-D-E-D. -E Next. So the conclusion, so all the juicy details are gone, the conclusion will wrap up, you see what happens up there. Mr. Tan, who had remained calm throughout the incident, had learned his lesson from a previous experience. He was robbed of $10,000 eight years ago in the lift by three knife welding men and still had a scar to show for it. So you can see he's quite experienced. Those convinced of armed robbery we've heard may be jailed up to 20 years and are liable to a minimum of 12 strokes of the cane. So you can see, as a conclusion, usually it's summed up by the listing the offense and what it potentially can do and this is sort of act as a warning for anyone reading the article or the news report and that's the end thank you very much for watching and hope to see you soon bye bye